Hello, this is Computronics here, and today we're going to talk about OpenDNS. OpenDNS is a free DNS filter in on the internet, absolutely free. That's going to change the way you uh, browse on the internet. It's it's a filtering system that's going to keep your connection safe and clean. Your kids are not going to end up in some crazy website, porno website, whatever. Uh, if you don't want them to go to certain gaming sites or whatever you want to do to filter the content you can filter it with open dns and uh, keep a pretty good experience on the internet prevent yourself from getting infected and of course your kids are the most important thing so i'm gonna click on computer here just for somebody who doesn't have a router there's a router configuration but just for the computer just for you to set up that computer for your kid or for yourself you click on computer and today we're gonna do the vista configuration and in here it tells you exactly what to do you you go to control panel you go to network and internet you view the status of your local area net connection and you click on properties and from there it tells you step by step so we're gonna do it real quick so you can see how that works we're gonna click on control panel and we're gonna go to network And then we're gonna go right here. Now I'm on the wireless network connection right here. Okay, you may be on the local uh, area connection if you have a wire to your computer. So either one, whatever that is active, which this one is active right here, I'm gonna click on view status, just like that. And I'm connected, and I'm gonna click on properties. And then it's gonna flash, it's gonna say you wanna, you know, you want uh, to go to the next step, continue. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna look for the internet protocol right here. Now, we got two different ones right here, but it's telling me right here to use the version four. So I'm gonna use the version four, just like that. So again, I open up, I go to version four, just like that, and I click on properties. And instead of having the DNS service address automatically, I'm gonna click here and enter the DNS number for OpenDNS. So I'm gonna go down here and look at them. So it's 208672222222. So all I'm gonna do is come in here and put 208672222222. And then the secondary one will be 672200. 220 just like that I press OK I press close it's gonna take a little while to close I exit and now I just I just configure my internet connection to filter to open DNS as simple as that I go to, con to step 2 and now you're gonna create a username with your email and password and confirm the password just basically say how do you find open DNS you can say through a website or um, where will you use your account you know at home if you're at home and you create the account now they'll send you an, uh, an email confirmation on your account you're gonna activate your account once you activate your account you're gonna be able to go and sign in here now once you open open DNS again you see an IP address appear which I it already recognize the IP address that the internet company gave you so it's gonna filter that connection but in order for you to do that you have to add it to your network so the way you do that is you sign in and you know with with your username and password that you created and then you're gonna sign in into your network okay once you sign into the dashboard, you're going to see, you know, statistics in your network settings, networks that you have set up. So what you're going to do is, the first thing you're going to do is go to settings, okay? And you're going to see a number up here, and you're going to add to your network, okay? If it's not there, it's usually out in the networks. So most likely it's going to be on the networks, and it's going to be on top here. It's going to recognize the number. You're going to add that number to the network. And once you add that number to the network, 
you press on settings okay just like that and then you're gonna see a filtering uh, categories and things like that I usually keep the filter on moderate and then I can click on customize and in here you know if I don't want my kids to go to adult themes or dating or let's say I don't want them to go to social networks or I don't want them to download music I click here P2P file sharing if I don't want them to um, watch any crazy stuff weapons sexuality pornography tasteless websites proxy anonymous is a big problem in schools kids use alternate websites called proxy anonymizers and they secretly browse inside that anonymizer okay um, and they override security with this they cannot do it okay and nudity so whatever it is that I want them to not to see I can customize my filter right here okay and it's just a great 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 service in a you know here's social networking for my space if I don't want them to go on my space now you can also physically say I don't want you know I don't want you to block these websites so never block those websites you know for certain websites that I want to go to myself I tell them I don't want you to block these particular websites okay then you click apply and it'll take about five to ten minutes for open DNS to recognize your filter okay now let's uh, let's try it out let's say we gotta we're gonna go to uh, uh, but rotten.com which is a pretty nasty website uh, has dead bodies and dismember pick bodies and all kinds of crazy stuff well there you go I go to rotten.com and it says that this is categorized as tasteless which is a you know not a good website for kids it has a lot of links to porno sites and everything else so you don't want your kids to go to a website like that now of course I haven't blocked my space so my space is open right now I can actually browse my space just like that and I can go to my space with no problem now what's cool about open DNS is that um, I can always go back and change my my filters you know and, and uh, change it to high I you high is very very strict I mean I think moderate is good as long as you customize the categories here you'll be fine now when you go to stats uh, once your network is up for a little while you can get st stacks uh, stat statistics on your network right here you know which domains they're mostly visiting your kids your what is the top domains that they're visiting you know and uh, here's different uh, domains they're part of the network that people are been browsing just like that now I got two different networks that I monitor one on my job and one here this is the one on my job this is the one in my house so click on settings there and it'll give me you know the stats and logs at uh, the statistics on the network in my house so I can go in here and say top domains and uh, there's different domains here the most important thing is that you have a filter in your network okay so again uh, any questions on open DNS uh, you can also set up a router with it it's a little you know not that complicated with every router has is a, every model is different you can go to uh, the home website at open DNS and it if you go here it'll show you how to do the uh, the routers okay but in once we you do this you're not gonna have any problems with porn with nasty websites coming in and if you keep your filter up like that you're gonna have less problems with viruses and Trojans because most of the junk comes from those websites okay um, again uh, thank you for watching this video any questions you can go to our website contact us there you can chat with us live on the website you can also post a forum you can become a free member and you get monthly uh, emails and different tips and new programs and we always uh, keep it geeky and keep it up to date okay thank you for watching Computronics here take care bye bye